joining now. Voice is okay, right? Voice. Audio is okay, nah? Okay, perfect. Okay. Nice. So today I'll discuss about RSI. So most of the familiar indicator I think, right? Most of the people are using, but uh, most of the people are uh, like using very, uh, like they don't know how to exactly use RSI. So basically RSI, uh, just a minute, just a minute. Okay. So I'll show you something about the RSI, uh, which is, I think it will help you uh, in your training. So today I'll discuss about RSI overbought and oversold zone. Next, RSI as a trend indicator. Third, I'll show you RSI as a support and a resistance. And here I'll show you exactly when to enter by using RSI. So basically we use RSI to filter the trade or entry point. So we are looking for high probability entry or exit point by using RSI. All right. So fourth, I'll show you RSI as a divergence. Third, RSI and trend line breakout. That means that, uh, that is a another confirmation. All right. First, we must know what is the RSI. So I think everybody knows about RSI, right? Relative strength index, right? So basically it shows as the momentum of this market. So now I can see basically my setup is here. Let me show you. Uh, I'm using level 50, which is uh, uh, indicating the trend. All right. And another 30 and 70. 70 means if RSI stay above, 70 means price are overbought. Most of the people are entering here, right? That is a wrong entry. And when price are running, uh, not exactly price, RSI running below the 30, that means price are oversold zone. So people are entering here, that is a wrong entry and exit point. So now you can see in this area, we have seen, let me show you exactly. In this zone, somewhere here was, RSI was overbought, but most of the people are entering here for the sell. They are expecting that price will drop from this area, but you can see finally price on gone. So that is a wrong entry point and people are entering here. So I'll show you exactly when to enter in this market. So I'm using here period uh, 14. So this is a very familiar period. Most of the people are using period seven. Most of the people are using 14 and most of the people are using 50 period of RSI. All right. So simply you, uh, Try to understand that if whatever, whatever period doesn't matter, it should depend on you. If price stay above 50 means trend is up. If RSI stay below 50 means this portion is showing trend is down. All right. And the rest of that from here, you can see up to this area, you can see RSI, RSI staying above this 50 means trend is up in a 15 minutes. So you can change your time frame accordingly. So it, it will show you. Basically, people are using 50 period of 
are SI or uh, who people are positional trader, they are using 200 RSI for the daily basis. And who people are swing trader, they are using like 50 to 100 RSI to identify the trend. All right. So most of the people have uh, very difficult to find out the trend. But at that time, who people are swing trading, let me show you. Suppose this is a H1 chart. And at that time, uh, you can change it to parameter 50. So you, you will find the trend. Now I can see here, let me show you exactly. Let me zoom a little more here. Now I can see right now, right now you can see from this area, have you seen it? RSI staying above 50. Have you seen it? Means in a medium term time frame from this area, price are running in an uptrend. All right. Is it clear how to identify the trend by using? Is it clear? So if you have any doubt, uh, you ask me uh, because step by step, how to identify the trend. Now it comes to know by using 50 uh, RSI period in a medium term or for the swing trader, we identify the trend. So this is crude oil by the way and now you can see here all right we have seen this uptrend and the rest of the you can see here let me zoom a little more than yeah now you can see from this area have you seen it from this area from here so rsi staying below 50 have you seen it this is a 50 and this line have we have seen this is a 50 line and staying below this 50 means from this area till this area trend was down all right is it clear now can see in the uh, daily chart so in daily you can see uh, from this area have you seen it from this area uh, rsi is running in a uh, running below 50 now in a daily time frame crude oil is showing it is running in a downtrend all right so somewhere from this area rsi was above this 50 means in this area price was running in a uptrend so if you want to see in a five minute chart now you can see this portion from this area rsi was running above uh, 50 means here this area in a small time frame like five minute price was running in a uptrend so most of the people are using this period. So let me use manual period like 14. All right, this is 14. Okay, how to identify fake signal? Yeah, definitely I'll show you exactly Mr. Viplop how to identify the fake signal in RSI. So step by step, let me explain first. And after that, I'll show you exactly when to enter and when to not enter this market. All right. First, uh, let me start RSI overbought and oversold. Basically, we use RSI to find out overbought and oversold zone. Now you can see we are using, uh, this is, not exactly manual period. I just modify this period from uh, 80 to 70. All right, and here was 20, but I modified to 30. Means if price stay above, means RSI stay above 70, means price are over both zone. It is a time to retrace all right it's time to retrace or you can say it's a time to take a rest 
So that is why we must find out the trend. If trend is running in an uptrend in a uh, like a 15 minute time frame and five minute time frame, RSI will take a rest and they will retrace and price will drop down, not exactly price, RSI will drop down toward over sold zone. But price might stay above, it doesn't matter, but RSI will drop toward uh, over sold zone. And that is the buy opportunity we are looking for. All right, when RSI stay below, let me show you exactly just a minute let me show you exactly uh, where is the below yeah somewhere here below now i can see here rsi stay below 30 means price are over uh, sold zone all right so it is ready to run toward upside so we are using RSI to find out oversold and overbought zone. Next, RSI as a trend indicator. So basically we use RSI when RSI stay above 50 means trend is up. All right, when RSI stay below 50 means trend is down in a specific time frame. Remember specific time frame. Now I'm using five minute time frame. In this five minute time frame, they are showing this is a downtrend and the rest of the, this is a uptrend. Again, somewhere here showing downtrend. Again, they are showing uptrend like that. All right. That is why we are looking for a buy or sell according to the trend if trend is up we are looking for buy only remember this correction called fact point this trend called fact signal downtrend are uh, placing but fact downtrend that is remember next one by one let me show you uh, rsi as a support and a resistance so basically most of the people are using RSI as a support and resistance. So how we identify support and resistance? Now I can see in this area, uh, let me show you. I just connected RSI here exactly. Have you seen it? And when I connect these three points, they are not connecting each other. Have you seen it? Now we have seen RSI hit, uh, price hit near RSI. Let me change the color, then it comes to no. You can see price hit and reverse. At that time, we have seen price hit and reverse. In the same time, again, price hit and reverse. And the same time, price hit and reverse. And the third time, it's a hit that the resistance line and the reverse back. Now you can see in a price, it doesn't hit that trend line. Have you seen it? Doesn't hit and price reverse back. Is it clear? All right. So that is why sometimes we are using RSI as a support and resistance. Okay. Third. RSI uh, divergence. So in my previous webinar, I already explained uh, that we are using MSCD, moving average convergence and divergence to find out the divergence point. But sometime we can use RSI also. So similarly can see here, uh, we have seen that is the higher point and this is higher high. So when we connect this to higher point, it look like that. They are creating higher high and higher low. But similarly, when you can see here, uh, when we use RSI, these two high point, 
now when i connect these two high point it is pointing toward downside uh, this is pointing toward upside and here pointing toward downside means price are ready to diverge from this area it is a probability to reverse from this area so that is why we are using rsi to find out the divergence point all right uh, next rsi and trend line breakout so most of the people are using uh, this uh, indicator to find out the breakout point all right let me show you here some example uh, now you can see i'm gonna connect this most recent swing point have you seen it i just connected and similarly that was the higher point and that is the higher point all right so now you can see uh, let me zoom a little more let me remove this one for exactly uh, now you can see here right. these two swing point have you seen it i just connected this point and at this point this point and this point now you can see rsi broke this trend line but price failed to break this level have you seen it if you apply only rsi to enter in this market that that is called fake breakout point we need a breakout where both rsi and price trend line should be break in the same time all right let me show you uh somewhere you can see here just a minute here now we have seen another divergence pattern here uh, they are creating new high but here you can see price drop from this area that means divergence are falling from this area so let me show you here most recent swing point and the lower point have you seen it i just connected most swing point and let me use this trend line then it will be better so i am connect most recent swing point have you seen it i just connected this point this point and this point and at the same time i want to connect a rsi trend line by connecting these two points have you seen it i connected both of them have you seen it here i just connected here i connected and here i connected and somewhere here we have seen exactly that was a sell opportunity according to rsi but you can see Price are staying above this trend line. Staying above this trend line, that means this is a false breakout and false signal. Is it clear? All right. Now, let me show you another example in the same chart. Now you can see. In that case, now I'm going to connect most recent swing point and I connected this point and i draw a trend line finally they have broke this trend line somewhere here right. now let me draw here this is the lower point and this is the lower point and this is the lower point have you seen it i just connected this lower point this is the lower point i connected somewhere here i connected and there's somewhere here i connected now i can see in this area both rsi also break down here <coughs> sorry rsi also broke down here and price also broke down here that is a proper sell entry this is a proper sell opportunity all right now you can see after that price drop down from this area is it clear all right now next just a minute 
we have seen this is a higher point three higher point and at the same time i'm going to connect these three higher points all right so finally we have seen there is a breakout same time there was a breakout that is a buy opportunity all right that is a buy opportunity and finally price gone up so that is why we need a proper breakout so in that case you can see here same thing i gonna use another uh on our eliminate the fact point this is the lower point i just connected this is the lower point two lower point and at the same time i'm gonna connect these two lower point so in this area we have seen rsi uh broke this trend line but price was above this trend line that means this is a this is not a sell opportunity all right this is not a sell. All right, do you have any query you can ask me how to identify a fact signal? Do you have any query about that one? So then I can go for further. If you have any doubt, you can ask me without any. Uh, without having any hesitation you can ask me definitely i'll clarify you that is first trading strategy i already explained how we identify the entry point by using rsi and trend line exactly so if you have clear about that i'll go another trading strategy by using rsi so if you have any doubt you can ask me that is a trend line breakout trading strategy. This is the only one trading strategy I already explained. So I'll I'll move to different trading strategy by using in RSI. Don't have any query, so I can I can I can uh, I can explain another trading strategy. How to uh, enter? Uh, buy or sell during overbought and oversold zone when to enter in this market so most of the people are entering when price are overbought or oversold zone but that is a not a, that is not a true we need a proper confirmation so how uh, we identify the entry point during overbought and oversold zone all right let me explain that is called uh, support and resistance and RSI trading. Remember. All right. Now, let me zoom a little more. Then you comes to know properly here. All right. Now suppose price are running like that at that time we have seen that is a support all right now i can see we have seen there is a support and resistance have you seen it is it clear that was a resistance price drop down from this area price hit and reverse that is a resistance that is a resistance and finally broke this area now it's becoming a support price push up against support and exactly means this line indicating as a support now price are running in a upside right above this support now we are looking for buy all right when let me show you now here you can see this is the supporting line all right now price are here let me zoom a little more uh, all right now i think uh, you already clear now let me zoom a little more then you comes to know this is a supporting line no okay let me zoom a little more yeah exactly 
first uh, here we have seen price just uh, enter over sold zone and price are pushing up from this area have you seen it this area we have seen price just enter this supporting zone oh sorry oversold zone and price are pushing up and at that time you can see here price are above this supporting area all right that is a fact by opportunity next we can we have seen price again create a new low and price are again pushing up uh, from oversold zone and they are trying to go upside but you can see price are still above this supporting line next you can see exactly we have seen price enter this oversold zone and price are pushing up and at the same time we have seen price exactly hit the supporting line and that is a buy opportunity is it clear that is a buy opportunity so that is why we are looking for a supporting zone all right same you can see somewhere here you can see we have seen let me zoom a little more than you comes to know all right next you can see another resistance line we have seen we have seen there are multiple rejection two time already uh, we have seen rejection rejection from this area and at that time we have seen price over both zone and uh, similarly we have seen price exactly below this resistance line and when price enter uh, to below 70 zone this is the 70 zone that is a sell opportunity have you seen it that is a sell opportunity remember another we have seen price near overbought zone and price not able to sustain above this resistance line that is a sell opportunity all right so next you can see here and when price enter here now you can see when price enter 50 zone means they broke this resistance line this is a another buy opportunity why because people are ready to buy more in that case all right is it clear is it clear do you have any query about how to uh, use support and resistance okay most of the people have big problem to uh, like uh, support and resistance oh sorry sl all right so let me explain one by one first where we have seen entry point where we have seen first entry point let me zoom a little more then you comes to know properly okay nice that is cool where was overbought zone oversold zone somewhere here overbought oversold where 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 yeah that there okay now yeah now you can see here is it clear now here we have seen price drop this uh, toward the supporting line and now we place buy order a little more above now we can place your sl below this lower point below this candle you can place your lower point now you can see how many points are are there let me check it 
if you enter here, we have seen 12 point or 15 point SL. It's just showing 15 point. All right, uh, 15 point. Uh, SL is showing, SL is showing 1, 5. All right. Now, if SL is 15, we need 30 pips. All right. Our target will be 30 pips. So, our 30 pips will be uh, from here to let me check it where will be 30 pips. Yeah, exactly in this candle. Let me draw a candle uh, trend line. So, our SL will be here somewhere here 15 pips, and this call uh, this is. 1, 5, 15 pips and we need 30, 30 pips our target. This is called take profit. This is our target. All right. That is our target and it, uh, it is called 1 is to 2 trading ratio. Remember, this is called 1 is to trading ratio. That means you are going to uh, lost one rupees means you gonna earn two rupees. That is called one uh, is to two trading ratio. All right, now let me show you. So in this candle, in this candle, triggered our uh, uh, target, right? This candle triggered our target. So similarly, now we have seen that was our resistance line by using previous market behavior we have seen that was a resistance now exactly you can see uh, here this is inverted hammer after that they are forming a beer scandal and place somewhere here our sell target because at that time price are entering toward downside RSI are overbought zone now they are losing their momentum by momentum and now we are ready to sort now here we have seen this is a higher point and we will place our as a little more above and we will calculate this point how many points are there now you can see from here to here exactly we have seen 15 to 20 points same and we will place our target from here to here to 15 point and 17 26 30 points somewhere here will be our target like all right that that will be our target so now you can see let me check it to where how many points are there 11 to 12 point we need a 11 point uh, 22 point or something let me check it how many point 11 to 12 point here 13 point 15 point 12 point here 24 pips or somewhere here 30 pips are there that is the target so before you want before you uh, set your target always find out the support and resistance somewhere we have seen nearest support so we will use like that remember that is the target and then now i can see okay okay do you have any query okay let me zoom a little more okay nice all right mm -hmm. Now in current price, you can see here, we have seen some resistance line here. All right. And at that time, if price goes toward this area and they if they fail to break this resistance line, because we have seen this is a resistance, a resistance and a resistance, right? There are multiple rejection from this area and exactly if price goes there and at that time RSI goes over both, right? When they are uh, pointing to our downside and entering below 70 zone, have you seen it? That is a 70 zone. If price not able to break this resistance, 
so that will be another cell opportunity by using rsi remember that that will be another cell opportunity for the buy you can see where is the support so we have seen somewhere multiple rejection we need a most passes point most of the people are thinking can i use here can i use here support as a here we can use as a support but you can we are looking for more reliable support now why this line is more reliable comparatively this line or this line or this area why is it important so we we are looking for more touches point where is the more touches point we have seen this is a touch point this is a touch point this is fake out but already touched here so here we have seen touch point touch point plus point rejection point like that and this is called more reliable support right now now we have range of this market remember range and here you can draw another line this is called middle line so i don't want to draw right now now you can see if price goes here and pointing toward upside enter above 30 zone all right above 30 zone and at that we are looking from uh, looking for some buy candlestick pattern right bullish candlestick pattern above this supporting line remember above this supporting line and that, that will be our buy opportunity and once we place our buy opportunity we will place our sl just a little more below this candle and target will be somewhere here near below this resistance line all right is it clear okay is it clear how to identify this resistance by using rsi and how identify entry and exit point by using rsi this is the another method entry and exit i'll show you three trading technique which you can uh, you can use uh, you can apply use using by rsi all right okay so number two technique and the third all right do you have query so you can ask me so next next technique i'll show you i'll explain next technique okay if you don't have any query so i can go for next technique where we can use rsi so five minute chart is yeah definitely let me show you five minutes yeah i'm using five minutes so you can use 15 minutes for the swing trading uh, for the intraday you can use five minute or uh, swing trading you can go for h1 or 15 minute all right who people are holding their position till week or month they can use h1 all right they can use h1 chart and who people are holding their position two to three days they can use 15 minute chart all right Now I can see here, uh, I'm using H1 chart for your entry and exit, like H1, uh, who people are looking for, like uh, they wanna hold their position for the long term, they can use H1, all right. For positional, you can use like H4, who people are holding their position month or six months they can use like that all right uh, just a minute just a hold on
Okay, now you can see here. Okay, now next entry when price are breaking 50 mobi uh, 50 period. So now you can see uh, we draw a support by using here. Have you seen it? We drawn here as a resistance or as a resistance as a resistance somewhere here. And then now you can see RSI are breaking 50, but they are not able to break this level. Means this trend line. All right. Next, again, they broke this 50 period. Now I can see price is staying below this. The similarly, we have seen multiple uh, breaking point here, here. How many point? One point. That is a fact because trend line are indicating us second. That is a fact breakout because price are below this resistance line. And the third fact breakout we have seen here, price are below resistance line. And the third, fourth breakout point that is a fact uh, breakout. And the finally, we have seen 50 already broke here at same time they broke this resistance line that is a buy opportunity all right that is a buy opportunity and similarly you can see here now we can see another example let me show you another example somewhere here Mm, so first you can see we have seen this is a support all right where is uh, this is multiple rejection from this area again drop toward this support and reverse back we have seen the line and at that time here in this zone we have seen breakout that is a fake breakout similarly we have seen this is a fake a breakout in the same time there is a breakout that is a fake breakout and another we have seen another fake breakout somewhere here and the finally we have seen is a breakout right that is a sell opportunity right that means they are breaking the line or support and resistance and at the same time they are breaking this 50 line that is called sell opportunity opportunity all right uh, that that is the three basic trading rules by using RSI. All right. So, do you have any query about the RSI, or you can ask me any questions? Okay, you can ask me any questions if you have any query. Okay. How to identify back breakout? So I already explained that. Now let me explain again. Somewhere. So, so let me show you different skips. Uh, it is called Bank Nifty. And so this is Bank Nifty yesterday chart. Now you can see we have seen proper sell opportunity because we have seen this is a support. Have you seen it? This is a support, 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 and the support exactly price uh, 
hit this supporting line now to working as a resistance line and at that time we have seen this just sell opportunity price are failing from overbought zone all right that is a sell opportunity all right here we have not seen any fake breakout so let me find a fake breakout so where i can identify right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here we have seen this effect breakout, all right. But actually, this is not exactly fake breakout because we have seen this is a trend line multiple uh, rejection point and uh, finally we have seen there is a breakout all right uh, so here you can see this is a breakout point and this is a proper sell opportunity was there this is a proper sell opportunity not exactly breakout point so most of the people are using uh, like a uh, trend line differently so some people are using like that so in that case we have seen this is a fake breakout so basically we use uh, so most of the people uh, have a big confused when to use diagonal trend line and uh, support and resistance or when to use horizontal support and resistance in that case we are looking for most the recent point so here you can see uh, most recent and most fact point now you can see here is we have seen only one process point so it is not a reliable supporting line now here you can see one task, two tasks and three tasks. And when we use diagonal, three, there are three tasks and horizontal we have seen only one task. So three tasks is more reliable. So that is why we are drawing this type of trend line. And this is uh, exactly proper uh, supporting line. After that we have seen there is a uh, breakout point and this is a breakout and sell opportunity now you can see in this zone we have seen this is a fake sell signal next we have seen another fake signal and in that case <coughs> just a minute in that case we are using diagonal time line have you seen i connected and we have seen fake signal this is called fake signal remember this is called fake sell signal and uh, finally both they broke this trend line now i can see they broke 50 line all right this is proper sell opportunity have you have you make sense uh, how we identify the fact point so most of the people are using like rsi and they are entering when price break the 50 level uh, so how identify the fact point now you have seen all right now you have seen here fake breakout by given given by rsi but in that case we have seen we drawn a trend line price not able to break this trend line so rsi are giving a fake breakout Finally, trend line and RSI are breaking down in the same time. That is a sell opportunity. Is it clear? How to identify the fact point? Is it clear? Okay. Okay, nice. Do you have any query you can ask me? clearly without having any hesitation
same fact point we have seen somewhere here that is a fact point by given RSI have you seen it let me show you exactly if you wanna draw a trend line price are staying below this trend line but RSI giving buy right this is RSI giving buy this is a fact buy again they have given buy this is a fact buy again they have given buy this is a fact buy so price are running below this trend line so that is a fact buy signal all right given by rsi so what yeah both will do the same time yes yes anywhere you can use in a both will do same time yeah RSI and trend line should be break in a same time. That is a buy opportunity. If one are given buy signal, another are not a giving buy signal, that means that is a fact buy and, and avoid that buy or sell. So in the same time, they should break. All right. They should break in the same time now i can see here we have seen some breakout point and in that case we have seen uh, here we have seen this is a break fact breakout have you seen it this is a fact breakout but if you want to connect both of them these two lower point this is the lower point and this is the another lower point have you seen it i connected both of them have you seen it this this point i connected this point and this point same time i connected this point and this point and finally here we have seen breakout have you seen breakout sell breakout and at that time price was there if you want to enter for the sell by seeing this rsi this price gone up all right that is a fake breakout remember all right remember that is a fake breakout don't enter at that time now you can see next the breakout where we have seen we need to connect these two lower point where is the two lower points somewhere here and uh, here you can use uh, now you can see that that was another fact point here we have seen all right that is the most important you must find out the fact point all right that 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 is the important thing next question both here so only five minutes are watch out 15 and 10 also can use uh, recording video available for watch again so i'll create a video regarding this uh, topic in my youtube channel so i think you already subscribe my youtube channel right so definitely i'll create a youtube channel a youtube video i'll i'll create professionally all right i'll show you exactly one by one in my youtube channel all right so you just subscribe because i'm giving a various type of trading strategy which is i personally i trade you know personally and yesterday i trade in bank nifty i'll show you exactly how i trade in bank nifty in option it it was a huge profit uh, i trade yesterday all right so i'll 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 show you all right i'll show you exactly yeah yeah you can use in five minute 15 minute h1 so it should depend on you what type of trader all right if you are a swing trader so you can go for h1 right it's a depend on you all right if you're a positional trader you can go for h1 h4 or daily all right for the intraday you can go for five minute or one minute for intraday trading all right and uh, let me show you and uh, do you have any query you can ask me any okay so somewhere here not exactly somewhere here and bank nifty that was awesome yesterday i told you awesome because i already given that one so somewhere where was is it the bank nifty yeah yesterday start let me show you exactly is it yesterday start yeah that was awesome all right let me show you where was my cell and he was there yeah that was my cell and all right 
block by block I was using here so let me remove this line and it comes to no properly exactly so now I can see in a five minute price was running in a downtrend somewhere here was market uh, around 11 of morning because all moving averages are arranging sequentially means in a five minute they was running in a downtrend all right so in that case if you want to see we're gone yeah somewhere here and i have seen there was a sell opportunity where sell opportunity here you can see exactly i placed my sell order somewhere here i bought a put option i think uh, 32 uh, sorry uh, 3100 sorry 31100 put option i bought somewhere here when price was here uh, 100 pips below <laughs> and uh, the put option i think their price was something uh, 145 i think yeah. uh, no at exactly here yeah. and let me check it i think that the put option was not uh 145 i think 145 stack price and it should become around 500 all right it it should become 500 all right if you divide from here uh, let me check it let me check it uh, 500 uh, minus 145 45 uh, into lot size 20 in a single sort all right by investing that one that is the difference all right so same technique i'm using whatever it might be option it might be uh, stocks it might be forex commodity whatever all right trading technique is same mm -hmm. okay paid technical course already uh, because a little more busy in a forex trading because uh, i'm trying to shift to indian market and once i complete definitely i'll be here because i need to observe whole whole like uh, forex market that is why i'm still not opening here that's time from interday it's crude oil five minutes and one minute i'm telling you biplop mr biplop you just use five minutes and one minute for the intraday yeah so rsi you can uh, just a minute yesterday crude oil you can see where is the entry point exactly so in my previous video i think two to three days ago i told that uh, you can go for buy above above where was the above uh, above i think uh, above uh, 3705 three sorry 3705 yeah i told that i can go for buy above 3705 so let me show you where is the 3705 okay just hold on just uh, hold on zero seven yeah somewhere here i given i already told that i'm looking for buy above this area so for swing daddy now i can see exactly yeah from here to here at least uh, let me check it how many points gone up from this area 32 point 32 point is enough all right for intraday and the next you can see how many buy opportunity we have seen yesterday let me show you one by one all right uh, yesterday was 14 uh 14 14 let me draw a horizontal line 14 feb 14 feb somewhere 14 feb 
फोर्टीन या थर्टीन Yes, somewhere here. Let's jump to 15 minute. Ah, uh, five minute. Now we can see. I drawn this line exactly. Now I can see in a five minute chart. According to my trading strategy, prices running in a uptrend. 15 minute. You can see prices running in a uptrend. All moving averages are arranging sequentially. Have you seen? Have you make sense? All right. And the five minute or uptrend. Means when both time frame are running in an uptrend from this area, so we are looking for buy. In that case, we have seen there was a raised ten line. All right, somewhere here, according to intraday trading, uh, somewhere here we have seen buy opportunity as well, uh, uh, five point or seven point, and target will be same fourteen point. Somewhere thicker here. All right, exactly. Next, the buy opportunity we have seen. Uh, perfectly, we have seen that that was a buy opportunity, and uh, similarly, they broke this resistance line. That is the another buy opportunity. All right. So, how many buy opportunity? Many buy opportunity we have seen, and at the same time, we have seen another buy opportunity here. Candle uh, forming here exactly. <laughs> Sorry, stochastic are uh, showing a buy opportunity as well as seven, and target is somewhere 14 point exactly. You can see exactly. So we are not looking for sell because trend is up. So here we have seen that is a higher point and this candle and place uh, seven point or six point SL and target is 13 and 14 point exactly. You can see how they are figuring here. Uh, now I can see another here. And next the buy opportunity we have seen here. Uh, somewhere here we place buy order a little more above but figured uh, hit our SL in this area. All right. Among five trade, one trade we are loser. And the next trade I place here exactly. We have seen that was a breakout, and somewhere here buy opportunity, and here market close, uh, no profit, no loss. So among the five trade, all right, uh, four trade is profitable. One trade is. Uh, I'll uh, losing trade. All right, one trade is losing trade. So in that case, if you if you calculate for uh, every trade, we are uh, looking for uh, every trade we are getting two percent. So here you can see into two means we earn eight percent entire uh, capital. All right. So here one percent because our SL is one percent and into one and it will be one percent. Uh, loss. So here you can see uh, 8 1 is equal to 7. Like yesterday, uh, we got 7% profit. So that means who people uh, trading like 1 leg, all right, means they are getting 7,000 profit. All right, 7k is profit, right? 7k means 7%. All right, that is called, we, you, you always calculate as a percentage. Don't calculate as a thousand, always calculate as a percent. All right, 7% a day is enough. All right. All right, do you have any query? 777-73-700. Okay, okay. That was target 3700. All right, that was a target. That was a target. Yeah, exactly. I given a target as 370. Okay. All right. So, do you have any query? Uh, we use MA, all are AMA exponential, that is a 20 EMA, 50 EMA, 100 EMA, 150 EMA, 150 EMA, and 200 EMA. So we are looking for uh, this EMA should be arranged sequentially. All right, we don't looking for crisscrossing each other. That is called no trend. So once they are arranging this type, so now we can see the like uh, lower moving average are above and uh, bigger moving average are in a downside. So means 
trend is up so when trend is up we are looking for buy only yeah this is meta trader and meta it's a paid it's a paid i think 500 per month 500 per month all right so who people uh, still not subscribe my youtube channel you just subscribe and ring the bell icon because i'm creating various type of trading strategy so i have a big plan for you also guys so i'm going to release a paid course very soon but i'm 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 uh, right now i'm busy in a forex market that is why so all right nice okay you can apply in directly but meta trader that is handling by the different uh, department uh, exactly mm -hmm. yeah that that is the that is the free course uh, so most of the time i'm giving that one that, that is a free course all right so at uh, this day i'm not able to focus on this market some due to my some personal work not exactly personal all our market work so we are going to create an online course so we we are we are busy in the in that case because i have seen many traders are not able to understand exactly so i gonna give a course online course so we are creating a platform all right we are we're gonna create a platform and that will be very comfortable right it is very difficult to people all over india to visit and meet people for their course technical course are not available and people are not teaching exactly because i'm using life uh, because when i'm giving training or when i'm teaching the peoples so I'm hand overing the live market. I'm not giving any demo like a theoretical uh, only that one that is a buy or that is a sell. Not like that. I'm a, I'm giving live market, right? So if if why I'm giving live market? If I am teaching wrong, then I'm going to lose my money. That is my confidence. Because I'm teaching you exactly what going to be heaven. Because we are doing a money management, we are doing a risk management, we are doing a position sizing, we have a better, better trading strategy. All right. Ultimately, we're going to profit. That is why uh, I am using live market. I don't think so. More um, uh, people uh, like other people are going to give you live um, a platform to uh, trade anywhere. All right. I don't think so. Most of the people are in institution or training center. They are, they are giving like a training or they are paying high rate and they're teaching them, but they never give them live account. All right. So suppose someone uh, like that. Someone have. Uh, uh, X, Y, uh, X, Y, Z, uh, something institute. All right, something institute. Just a minute. Okay, X, Y, Z, uh, training, uh, technical training institute, right? They never give you the, their account, their trading account. They never give you their trading account. They never show you buy and sell their trading account. Why? my concept is that if you are able to teach them if you are correct then why you are not hand overing your account to your student to trade in a live market why my question is that why you are not giving am i right or wrong you just tell me if you are giving training and a best trainer then why you are not hand overing your account to your student during your training or trading session all right and i am hand overing my account this is me all right this is me and this is my student i'm teaching him 
and at that time when i'm teaching them at that time i'm handovering my account if i am teaching you wrong then i will lose you i will lose my money am i right or wrong if i'm teaching you 100% accurately i'm doing money management position sizing risk management i'm avoiding psychological factor then why i'm not handovering my own account all right so in my trading in my uh, training session i'm handovering my own account and exactly i'm telling them just sort it just buy it right so like uh, where i i already explain you uh, somewhere here right by using this uh, like uh, start right and uh, somewhere we have seen that 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 is a, a proper sell opportunity we have seen here right and we have seen this is a strong support or somewhere here they broke this support and broke this support we have seen both are breaking when i'm teaching someone like my student are learning from me at that time i'm explaining that here stochastic and trend line are breaking and in my live account i'm telling you sort it sell it here and place your sl somewhere here and take only one percent risk in in a single trade and set your target somewhere here and trading ratio call one is to one is to two r because my sl is somewhere here and my target is somewhere here this is called trading ratio and exactly i am sorting here in my own account all right and at that time i'm teaching that is why my students are more successful comparatively others right i make them confident uh, confidence that yeah i can do it and i'll follow the money management i'll follow the rules i'll i'll I, i'm ready to take the risk everything so that type of uh, trading platform i'm gonna create you all right so i am guarantee you nobody gonna hand over their account when you will take training from there doesn't matter how many uh, how many rupees you are paying them doesn't matter but they never hand over you i don't